Uh, your opinions of this con compared to ALA, if I may say. Um. It's always fun the first time around to get drunk and walk around. <laughs> Um, I still have to go maybe slightly. Mm, I'll go with I'll go with LA. I had pretty much I had a lot of fun out there. I met a lot of people. It's pretty close. We're all packed it together, so it's like you know the closestness. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess the outdoor location is really nice for shots, too. Oh, yeah. I mean. Oh, of course. If you saw my shots back on my, back on my blog, I'm like, oh, my God, these are beautiful uh, shots. Even if there's the sky, I'm like, that's a beautiful shot to the sky. And that's, like, near the coast. I can't get that much sky shots because I'm in, like, the middle of downtown and you go in with coastal inland and, well, there's not much clouds got unless, like, it's all blown off. Okay. Um, definitely food choice or restaurant of choice during con. Uh, ESPN <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. Do you know, okay, just to let everyone know, um, we ended up at ESPN Zone, like, the entire con. Like, the every time? day of con, we were there. And, and, uh, and, I think it goes back to us killing, just killing, um... Time. Not killing time, but killing appetizers. All we do is eat the appetizer, and then we just go home. We didn't get any, like, major meals. I mean, we got to have, we got the ultimate tailgate. Like, you got, we all, we, you got it, like, twice. Because you went to go eat with... With Scarlet uh, Rhapsody, Scarlet Rhapsody, team of Jared and Well, I was over at yes, but the, that first night, we, we actually found it because we said, oh, there's, there's that sign, oh, that sign about the summer festival. And I said, yeah, you get, you go to these restaurants and you get a discount. Well, we went over the first night and we were like, all right, we want our discount. And they said, uh... We don't have a discount. Like, all right, what's the special? Then it's a box lunch. Like, like, what's this crap? What's a lunch? What's a lunch box? I want fucking fries and like the ultimate. So we decided, all right, fine, let's go. Let's go splurge on the ultimate tailgate. Okay, and, and then we went the next night. I think we, I think we paid cash. I think we, yeah, we paid cash today. Um, your opinions of the dances and light shows? Ah, uh, the light show was good. I mean, the show's good for what I saw. Um, the dances, um, we were a little bit too farther than where, where it was, and I I didn't have a chance to go. However, if any of you were at the charity auction, I was the proud recipient of those 12 Japanese uh, CDs that were like, I guess it was rare or out of print now, and the Hardcore Synergy poster that is signed by all the Japanese DJs. Um, according to the people that were talking to me there, I mean, that was better of a steal than that was a better of a steal than um, Flo and LMC and Huckle Moy's autograph on the drum cover. I, I actually beg to differ because I mean, even though they're pretty big uh, DJs in Japan, I mean they're semi good here. I mean, I wouldn't say semi good, but semi known here in the states. And whereas the Flo and LMC and Huckle Moy, they're well known here in the states. Okay, well, it's about even, basically maybe like just for the signature, but the fact that I got like CDs with them. Now, if you, if, now, let's say you throw me, like, the drum cover set on all of them, and you give me, like, a whole bunch of, like, Japanese, like, demos of what, before Flow even started, then, yeah, it might be the same way, but just because I got, like, for 12 CDs in, in, the, in the poster, oh, shoot, um, we gotta go back to the house after this. All right. I forgot the, I forgot the poster. Oh, my God. Everyone, remember this for the rest of your day. Mr. Founder of the SoCal, of the SoCal Host Club, the California Convention Blog. Uh, like I said, we're we're both dead <laughs> here. Anyways, anyways, yeah. Founder Star of the California Convention Blog. Is there a Starbucks on the way over back? Unfortunately, no. There's a Starbucks only on that way. Anyways, yeah. back, dude, back on topic. We're getting off topic here. <laughs> Okay, my opinion of like everything being like, especially the dances being specifically either at the JW Marriott or the uh, Club Nokia. I didn't really care for it. The fact that before it used to be held within AX grounds, mainly between Concourse Hall or uh, the room next to the arcade where the arcade was. So pretty much the arcade and the uh, dances used to be right in the Concourse Hall, like right in the dead center of AX between South and West Hall. I thought. <laughs> Personally, that um, 
my opinion of it is that really I don't think they should have put it that far out that maybe they could have kept it but I mean knowing that Club Nakia is very a, a notorious club around especially downtown LA it was probably a good idea. Um, I don't like the fact that Max tried to compete, uh, really tried to compete with AX. The fact that, um, that uh, I thought Max was okay, even though I was only there for like a little, like maybe like five, ten minutes before I got really bored. Um, according to what I was saying, despite the fact that they're saying that you, when you had to buy into like the May Cafe and the movie event tickets. Yeah, according to a certain source of ours, you didn't have to. You didn't have to. Like, in the end, you just walked in and they're giving away tickets for free. And I'm like, really? I could have met Stan Lee for free. So like, I know. Well, like, maybe maybe, maybe they did it on purpose. To get, to be, do you think so, really? Maybe, to maybe get people enticed away from AX for a little bit. Oh, I, if I were if I were Chase Way, maybe I would in the end. Well, I mean, no, I thought the laser uh, light show was really spectacular because of the fact that you had lasers going all around downtown, you had the laser show going up in the middle of the like, crowd, and then you had it like right on stage yeah. with the DJ, Japanese DJs in the background playing like mixes to Ava, mixes to Bleach, all these other good mixes, and it's like ridiculously cool looking, so I thought I liked it. Um, Alright, let's review the SoCal Host Club really quick. SoCal Host Club, my god, okay. Did we just, did we like, we went really up, then back down, then really back up again. Literally, AX like, shot us in the heart and then somehow found, somehow Marekka said pills here. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh my god, look at these monstrous burgers. Do you want some sour cream? Uh, uh, no, thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, hi, dear. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Anyways, yes, this is uh, the restaurant we're in right now is a well known around SoCal, or at least in the Orange County, Long yeah. Beach area. Uh, um, it's called Spires. So if you ever have time while you're in SoCal, anyone who's watching this, then you should drop by and have a breakfast burrito. Okay, so give it to me. I'll explain the SoCal Host Club or we get a nutshell. Okay, well. Pretty much, uh, SoCal Host Club in a nutshell, pretty much what happened is huge, huge presents for our panel. There's panel. at least two, three hundred people, people in the audience. For a panel. And then Saturday and comes. And not, not, not just any people. That, like, I'm not talking like LA or out of, out, of, out of state. We're talking out of country. Uh, Austra like, I get people from Australia in our panel. I'm like, you're here from Australia for AX and you decided to come to our panel about a coast club. <laughs> These, they, 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 they're probably all our friends. All right, so we go to Saturday. Who oh, the dedication? Dedication. Long story short, they gave us the wrong room, basically. Yeah, thanks AX for giving us a panel room, which we were in the previous day when we gave you a specific layout and table set up. Yeah, I think so for next year, we're going to have to suggest what we, the room that we really got afterwards, which was the workshop room. So probably when we fill out our form next year, we, we'll specifically state that we want a workshop room. Okay, main event wise. Um, pretty much besides getting screwed by AAX for the table setup in the first session, and we getting... Oh yeah, we got a second session for people who weren't there. And it was a little bit more organized in the workshop. That turned out very well. We had, like because we had maybe about what three hundred people in line again for the main event. Yeah, I turned, her. I turned, I took a hundred people lady in. I turned away the rest so to come back later. Um, I don't think they came back later because by the time it came two thirty, uh, we were we were running against Kanishi, and which was kind of felt really bad. I'm always willing to see guy who did America in Canada, but. Um, I think for that second session, it would have lost. It would have made me a lot more calm, except for the first five minutes. If you're gonna if you're gonna watch the Soka Host Club that video feed, the first like twenty minutes, I'm like, and then I'm down after that. But um, I mean, I mean, thanks X for coming through for us. I mean, yeah, maybe I don't think they really knew what was going to happen, and when they saw three hundred people, yeah, three hundred people line up. I think you tell them, hey, come back next year. They'll remember, oh, wait, they had to line now, sure, 300 people. Let's really move into, let's move into a panel room, <laughs> a workshop room. Oh, one thing I think he failed to mention Funimation reps repping the SoHelp 
Post Club? Club? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there should be videos up pretty soon. I don't know. And um, pretty soon. Anyways, final thoughts. I still think it's better than ALA. I think okay. I think ALA and Family were still better, but I I mean for my first ever true AX, it was good. It was good because you're gonna get in the problems with a forty thousand a forty thousand plus con, or to some of them it's a hundred thousand plus. But that's turnstile style. Basically, turnstile style is uh, you count the same person four times because you know you walk through day one, day two, day three. That's four. That's that's their attendance numbers. So, so we don't know how many true badges they sold, unique badges. Um, I liked it. I will probably be back here next year. We'll do the same thing over and over again. Of course, eat it pinks first day, and somehow randomly end up at Roscoe's the last day. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to put your final thoughts in before we start eating? Okay. Yeah, he needs to get that monster's burrito now. I need to, uh, your thoughts. Okay. My final thoughts of Anime Expo 2010. What happened, AX? Seriously, I mean, I liked it, but your integrity, all the guests of honor, like, it's not AX anymore. I mean, I remember back in, like, 2007, I was, like, truly excited to have guests of honor Thank there. Thank you, yeah. I, I mean, Oreska Man, uh, SOS Brigade being there, Hakumomoi, even though she was really not that great there because of the fact that they treated her bad. And that, that, that was bad. I mean, my final thoughts of AX is. It, it was good, but it's not as good as his previous years. I mean, really, AX, with the autographs, your guest of honor. And meet even some of your staff. Get your crap together. But at this rate, they're gonna have a very good con in in, in in various. I mean, yeah, there's that video going around of the volunteer giving the middle finger to an attendee. But thank God that wasn't staff because that'd be like the perfect storm. And last now, please don't turn our con into a business con. We don't need another Comic Con. Or, for that matter, we don't need to have no AX at all. Mm. I mean, I must be in a fanime state of mind when I came to this convention. I must have been in a fanime state of mind. <clears throat> because I was thinking, man, this could be a lot like fanime. And I realized pretty quick, this isn't like fanime. Well, I mean, think, bro. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I know, I know. But just because I've been to fanime for four years straight, and I always hear stories about AX, like, I'm sort of going with expectations that it's going to be like fanime. But, well, I mean, you gotta remember, this is SoCal, everything's different, and we have a bigger convention than the San uh, Jose Convention Center, I mean, John, the, John Mercury Center isn't just gonna, isn't gonna be as big as the LACC, you know? I read Moscone Center, if they were, if they were moving the Moscone Center up in uh, LA, where uh, SF were, uh, like, wonder comics. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what happens to that. Alright. Uh, well, well, here, let me start this off. Anyways. Oh, by the way, just to let everyone know, um, profound sadness for those of you who look for me as Lelouch or long-haired Philippines or just any long-haired cosplay I've done, maybe my newest one being protagonist from Persona. On Thursday, I hate to say this is all getting cut off. So, pretty much, I'll send photos and upload them to the blog so you get to see how my new uh, haircut looks like for new cosplay. So, as far as this goes, this is Ryu and... This is Matthew for the California Conventors blog. This, uh, this would end our AX. This will end the AX coverage for this year and let's hope I really do come back next year.